two failed Republican candidates are now claiming that Hurricane Ian is retribution by the deep state for what Ron DeSantis has been doing. Understand that the deep state, they have weather manipulation technology, they have DARPA, they know how to manipulate and create big storms, hurricanes, tornadoes, climate change, etc. And these huge hurricanes always seem to target red states, red districts, and always at a convenient time, typically right before elections, uh, or you know, in this case, possibly because Ron DeSantis has been stepping out of line a lot and challenging fighting the deep state. I don't know, Lauren, the timing is definitely interesting and they're even saying it. Do you think this could be a weather manipulated hurricane? Before I get to that response, which is also fun, let me just tell you, Looney Tune stuff. Absolute insanity. <laughs> uh, don't you know that these hurricanes always seem to hit red states before an election? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, first, let me just point out, Hurricane Sandy. Uh, where did those hit? Uh, where, where did that hurricane hit? Oh, right. New York and New Jersey. Are those red states? Hmm. Now, look, the reason that these southern states, like Florida and, you know, Texas, they, uh, Louisiana, they get hit with these, um, uh, the, these hurricanes, these storms, because of their geological location. Again, they're, they're near an area in the ocean, I know, where there's water, big water, ocean water, uh, where these storms happen to develop. And, and look, here's the other thing about that location. Cuba just got hit with Hurricane Ian, as well as Puerto Rico, right? Puerto Rico is, of course, is part of the United States. Uh, they're not a state, but they're a territory, right, of the United States. Um, they got hit in Cuba. Cuba. Now, now, Cuba, are you saying Cuba is right wing? Are you saying they're a conservative? They're, they're a red state? Uh, they always seem to get hit by, you know, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the hurricanes, the, the red states, you know. Hmm. I don't know what they're saying. I just, I just don't know what they're saying. <laughs> it's all ridiculous. Uh, and here's the other thing, right? It always seems to hit around election season. You realize election season is also hurricane season. I mean, look, September 5th, um, I'm sorry, uh, sep September, the month, is on average the busiest month in the Atlantic hurricane season. That runs from June 1st to November 30th. There's a lot of elections that seem to happen within that time frame, but no, that must be engineered by the deep state. Look, all of this you would know if you literally took five minutes to Google, just five minutes online, and just look this stuff up, you, you don't have to come up with insane conspiracy theories to explain why our hurricanes happen. But no, it does get even dumber. Yeah, well, we know the technology does exist. And right. I mean, Deanna, they're literally trying to change people's DNA through vaccination. Of course, they would be willing to do something like this to target red states. I have no doubt. I mean, the technology exists to manipulate weather. And, um, you know, this whole storm coming, uh, I mean, I know that Florida is uh, prone to hurricanes. However, this developed into a Cat 4 oh, or Cat 5 overnight. Right. And it does seem to be hitting uh, the uh, the conservative areas of the right. state um you know you and i don't i i i'm not putting it past the elites uh to target something like this towards florida as punishment uh for uh, getting rid of vaccine mandates or getting rid of child grooming they are angry with us and it wouldn't surprise me to find out and yeah the technology does exist um but you're not supposed to talk about that or know about that because that's controversial or a conspiracy theory no it's true both of these ladies ran for office. That other person, the blonde Lauren Witzke, was a former Republican nominee for Senate in Delaware against Chris Coons. Deanna Lorraine, 
ran for Congress in Pelosi's district. The insane people are running for office. Now, these two didn't win, but others have. Crazy people <laughs> are in the government. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> let's get to some of the uh, crazy uh, conspiracies, right? So I love how they had to tie in COVID and QAnon. Just, you know, like, oh, the, the vaccine, uh, the vaccine is changing your DNA. No, they don't. No evidence of that whatsoever. In fact, there's no evidence of anything that you were saying is even remotely true at all. At all. But you can't talk about it, though. You can't talk about it because, you know, it's, uh, it's conspiracy theory. You're literally talking about it right now. That, that doesn't prove anything. Besides, it is a conspiracy. Everything you've said is not just wrong. It's completely and utterly counterfactual. There's not anything in there that is remotely true. No, you do not have storms that are controlled by the deep state that are being like manually controlled. What are, what are they using? A, jo uh, a joystick controlling the storms? Is that what's going on here? Uh, let me just aim that towards, uh, you know, Florida over here. No, that's not what's going on. Or would it be like a VR set? Ooh, would that be more interesting? Um, hmm, hmm. Uh, oh, but no, no, it's not being controlled. This whole thing is ridiculous. Oh, you don't understand, it's a hard weather machine. It's Alex Jones territory. He's been talking about this for years at this point. It, again, insane. Incredibly dumb. I think it is so, it's, it's really sad how easy it is to be a conservative nowadays and just lie. I mean, you can just say, you can go online, you can say anything. Really, literally, we just watched it. They can say whatever they want, whatever comes to their mind. Oh, did you know that, uh, oh, did you know that the frogs were gay? Again, something that someone literally said. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Marjorie Taylor Green talked about Jewish space lasers. What is wrong with you people? Honestly, why? How could you believe these insane things? But look, I, I mean, I, I've seen a you know a lot of different like you know theories as to why like oh conspiracy theories have taken off, especially in right wing uh you know uh, right wing circles. People who watch Dana, uh, you know, Lorraine's show or whatever. Deanna, sorry. Deanna Lorraine. Watching her show. You know, they believe, really, that they're special. That they have information that you don't have. I'll uh, see everybody in the mainstream's wrong. I'm right. I'm like Galileo. No, you're not Galileo. You're just dumb. <laughs> you're just not a smart person. And you will literally believe anything. Even things that some random person online has just made up with no evidence to balance it. Galileo had proof. And he was ironically going against the Christian fundamentalists who were, you know, murdering people for actually doing the opposite, believing in science. No, to compare themselves with Galileo or any of these figures in history that were actually trying to do science is absolutely ridiculous. But we see it all the time. They wish that they were special. No, they're not special, just stupid.